time. Let's see my earring. Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Yudi, and I go by Yudi on the Glow. Here and on my other social media platforms, so make sure you guys subscribe to me here. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell. Go ahead and like this video. Just go ahead and get that out the way. And don't forget to leave me a comment so we can, you know, we can talk about it. I am fresh off of watching Mia Culpa on Netflix, and I wanted to share a few things with you guys. So today's mainly going to be about talking about the fashion icon that is Kelly Rowland. So for this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of my thoughts on the movie as a whole, and then we're going to jump into the fashion and what Kelly Rowland's character Mia was wearing during the movie. Then we're going to talk about some of the looks that Kelly wore during the press run. If you're interested, please stay tuned. Now let's jump into this movie. I'm going to be honest. Based on all the reviews I saw, I wasn't in a rush to see the movie, but I am coming to you guys after watching it last night. And I have to say, I don't think it's as bad as people made it out to be, but it did have its moments here and there. So on a positive note, one of the things that I loved about the movie and the, and the filming of the movie was the cinematography. The cinematography was on point, the color grading, the scenes, the angles. Those are things I pay attention to as someone who has a little bit of background in production and also it's like an everyday creator. Now, when it comes to the pacing of the movie, it felt like the first half was a little bit slow. Then probably the last 40 to 30 minutes, the movie really picked up. So the pacing, the pacing wasn't all the way even. I did hear a comment saying that the movie could have been an hour shorter or an hour longer. And I definitely get that. And another thing I cannot avoid, I feel like at times the writing sometimes held the actors back. Especially in the beginning, a lot of the dialogue between Kelly and Gervonta's character. There are times where I feel like what I probably liked the most was more than likely improv. Some of the writing, I was like, mm. you know, but moving along, those in-laws in the movie, throw them all away. Throw them away. The brother, the mother, the husband, throw them away. I was over them within the first 10 minutes. And another thing that can't be ignored with the timing, with the pacing, there were random jumps throughout. Some stories that kind of started, some stories that didn't really have a conclusion. So for instance, the whole scene of her trying to get to the train and he like, let's get on this bike. And she like, I got a skirt on. I'm like, <laughs> okay <laughs> the random adult party that she ended up at i'm like okay was this needed was it necessary did we need this piece and i'm not gonna hold you there are times where i was like doing a couple other things while i was watching so there was a moment where miss man from have and have not was on the screen i'm like what's going on <laughs> and that one scene where the character me was in dr what are the odds that she bumps into the person that she bumps into and i do feel like that was a missed opportunity to have an even better action scene but overall i feel like the movie really picked up towards the end even though it had its part however regardless of all of that i'm always gonna be happy to see shazante calandria and shannon on my screen so just seeing them kept me engaged but i really 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 want to see more of calandria on film on my screen doing the things because she has good energy and good vibes i want to see more of her on the big screen now, while watching i could not ignore that kelly's character mia harper she had that stuff on she had it on in every scene and the way i was always interested in what she was wearing each scene i said hold on i have a lot of thoughts on this so we might need to make this a video <laughs> So after watching the movie, I did watch a few of the interviews. And in the interviews, she said things that I had already peeped and written down in my notes. It was like this stamp of approval. In one of her interviews, she described the styling of Mia's character as being quote unquote, chic, elevated, and attainable. And I had that completely in my notes. And I said, that is exactly why I will make a video on this movie. I also found out that she did play a producer role in this movie. And she worked really closely with the stylist and design team as it related to Mia's wardrobe. Now let's get into some of these looks. So the very first look I want to talk about is when she was wearing this pub sleeve white top. Now, for me, for me, this is a closet staple. Having a nice crispy ivory or off-white top in your closet is an old faithful. Looking at the picture now, it's the structure of the top, it's the exaggeration of the puff sleeves, it's the cinching at the waist, it's a little bit of the pleating or ruching at the mid area with a little bit of cleavage just not to expose. I'm telling you right now, this is a great piece of having your wardrobe because it can be styled so many ways. If you want to wear black slacks, neutral straps, throw in a color, you can do it. If you want to throw on a skirt, you can do it. And it's almost like a statement piece, but it's very easy to wear and style and look put together and look elevated. So just throw anything on at the bottom. Now, I know for some of these outfits, I'm going to struggle giving you guys like full on images or knowing even where they came from. But if anyone knows a dupe to the shirt she is wearing, please let me know. Because I have something similar, but I want this too. It just looks so well and it just speaks to my style too. This is a great piece to have in your wardrobe because it can make so many looks and still look elevated and look like you put a lot of effort into your look. And I feel like it can also do something for the shape for many body types. Having all of that volume up here in the arms and then having a closer cut midsection kind of gives you more of that hourglass look or cinching you in look. So I'm always going to be here for a nice puffer sleep. If you guys know of any alternatives or any dupes or anything similar, let me know because 
you know, I'm gonna need this. Moving on, we have this Pinstripe suit. And the first thought that came to my mind was Scaparelli Spring Summer 24. I think that's it. And the main difference with the Scaparelli suit is that it had like the tape measure markings on the lapel. And that same suit, I remember seeing it on Adele. Adele wore that suit beautifully. So for me, this look hit the mark in several ways. It's definitely keeping to that business, workwoman, power suit attire trend that's still carrying through. But it also felt very fitting to the line of work that Mia was in. So the one thing about navy, I feel like navy can be slept on, but done right, navy is such a rich color that I feel like more people should, you know, embrace the navy because navy, navy doesn't get that much shine. It gets slept on often. So yeah. Now, next up, we have this black power shoulder look, and I was so here for it. Now, I do still consider myself somewhat of a newbie when it comes to like designer houses and runways and all this stuff. But from the little that I know, first thing that came to mind was Thorn Brown. That is the first thing that came to mind for me. With that old nasty waistcoat, plus the puff sleeves peeking out, it was a dynamic combo for me. This look made me think of Tina Taylor. It made me think of Janet Jackson, Queen Latifah, Janelle Monet. All of them have been in Tom Brown looks, and I could see all of them wearing this, or at least a version of it, from the outfits I've seen from them. And if I wanted to push it a little bit further, I could say there could be like a sprinkle of Dior in there, at least with the layering. This look all together... I was so here for it. Next up, we had an all black monochrome look with a long line wool coat. Again, it was giving power shoulders, it was giving shape, and it was giving great lines. So much of what Mia's character was wearing reminds me of my fall trend video. And in that video, I talked about trends, but I also talked about trends that are basically staple pieces. Now, I will always stand by it. Everybody needs a good long line black coat in their closet, whether it's wool, whether it's a trench, whatever the case may be. I feel like you need that black coat in your closet. That is a staple for Everyone. Also in the movie, she gave us different variations of green coats. We had a hunter green, then we had a couple khaki greens, and we had those coats in different textures. One gave a wool look, another one like a patent leather look, and then we also had a textured fur one. So as I was just saying, I feel like a black long line coat is a must, is a staple piece and essential in any closet. After that, a close second for me is a good brown or nude coat then you have room to add your color and i feel like for mia's character where she added that color was with the different versions of green in her coat there's another moment in the movie i believe when she came back to the family house she was wearing what looked like a nude coat and she had this soft blush pink underneath that was such a chic and effortless moment like she just threw this stuff on and it worked what i wrote in my notes for this was softly bold and effortless look it definitely gave that with your go-to tan or brown trench coat with that blush underneath. Very easy, very simple, but impactful. Now this next look, despite her being a lawyer, we only saw her in that office about twice, but she wore this all white number and it was giving life as well, life is comfortable. And this look also gave me a tinge of Jessica Pearson from Suits. You know she always had the looks on and it's completely on brand. And I remember seeing a creator's video and they were saying, if you ever want compliments, you want a little boost to your ego, go out in a all beige or all ivory look and just run your errands. Whether you're going to a nice part of town, you're going to the mall. And she was saying, you will really feel how people talk to you differently, address you differently, how people interact just because you got this all beige look and you look put together. And I feel like just a little bit, a little old me, I can kind of attest to that because when I had my all beige look at Harriet's, Oh, people were looking a little bit different. People are looking a little bit different. They thought I had a little something on me. <laughs> so I'm always gonna be here for an all beige or an all ivory look. I can never hate those looks. So if you're feeling up for it, you just wanna test it out. I break down how I went about a similar look in my all natures video. Go ahead and check that out. Check it out if you have it. Even though we're jumping around, the final scene of the movie, when she came in that mysterious all black, she had her old nasty boot and some nasty shades. You know, the blockers when you can't see the eye. And then she tied that scarf around. She said, I am here for the drama. A little bit of it reminded me of Mary J. Blige is not gonna cry no more. Yeah, but we've seen this look done before. It always had that impact of drama. So in my opinion, it was done nice. It was done well. I like it. Another look that stood out to me was more of a lounge look. She was wearing a chunky knit turtleneck sweater. And what I loved about it is that I felt like it was very relatable. And let me read the exact words I put in my notes before I watched her interviews. I put relatable, cozy, and attainable. I really see it to be all of those things, and especially the attainable part. A chunky knit sweater like that is easy for you to find and get the same look. And attainable was one of the words that Kelly actually used when she was describing Mia's wardrobe. And of the two last looks I have from the movie, there's a time she was wearing like a cream or nude crop trench coat. I 
Hey y'all, so I was walking through the mall today and as soon as I walked into H&M, I saw this crop trench coat. On first look, it had a great weight to it and a great feel to it, but of course, do your own research. I was able to find it online only in the black, but in the stores I found the brown and the khaki, so there may be some in your local H&M, or give it some time to be online if it's something you would want to add to your closet. But yeah, just a find I saw today. Again, I feel like this is a great piece to have. It might be trendy for some, but for others, it could be a staple piece. Throw on with your elevated casuals, your lounge wear, or your down outfits are not too bland and have a little bit of extra character to them. The very last look I want to talk about is the black dress she wore, I think, to dinner or when they were having some type of counseling. Again, another staple piece a must have in your closet, in my personal opinion, little old me, is a good little black dress. I feel like this dress with the cut of the neckline, a little bit of exposed chest, a little bit of shoulder, it gives a bit of interest. It's not boring. And it's something that I feel like is a versatile piece. You can wear this in so many different settings, different places, different occasions, and you can always add a piece on top, whether it be a scarf, a jacket, a cardigan, depending on where you are and what you feel comfortable with. So this dress for me was an example of the little black dress that everyone needs to have in their closet a dress that can be worn in multiple locations and again we keep talking about attainability this is a dress that i feel like should not be hard to find if you are looking for something similar and another look i forgot to talk about is the look that mia's character wore with a leather biker jacket on again i feel like a biker jacket is another classic and staple piece to have in your wardrobe whether it is fitted it is oversized and have that trucker look you gonna need a biker jacket in your closet kind of like you know what i got on right now got this on sale from ASOS from the men's section so again don't feel like you have to shop in only one area of the store shop the entire store that's what I'm always gonna say next up let's get into her looks from her press run the first look I have to talk about is this plaid coat that she wore and I believe this coat is from area 23 runway I don't know how many times I've said it already but take a sip of water for every time I say power shoulder this is giving you shoulder and it's also giving you that hourglass look now with this look all here for the coat I'm not mad at the tan underneath however the brief pant at the bottom is not my favorite maybe if it came a little bit longer like shorts I could be here for it but I I feel like the brief bottom like that trend i feel like that looks best in darker colors like a black a navy or when it's completely decked out or ordained with sequins and embroidery or embellishments or jewels all this stuff so for me the bottom half isn't my favorite but i do love the coat i do love what was going on here next up we have this all black look with this bold in your face breastplate now this gold breastplate is a moment i love how we have the gold continued in the shoes it's very simple her skin looks looks amazing I'm here for it and for me most times I'm gonna love a good breastplate so she did her thing with that all right let's talk about this blue number now for me the color the fur all of the elements for this to be a take a double take in your face all of the elements were there but for me it fell a little flat it was a little bit underwhelming like was well, it wasn't bad but it wasn't great either. For me, it was a little bit of a snooze fest despite all of those things being there. Like maybe I needed the jacket to be more exaggerated or bigger or longer, whatever the case may be. This blue look did not do it for me. Granted, Kelly's always gonna look good, but for me, I'm like, this ain't the heat I'm used to from Kelly, and it's like, I just want more. But if we transition into this red look, this red look, I feel like, was all the things that the blue look should have been. The red gave you that bold impact. It stopped me in my tracks, and I'm like dissecting the entire outfit from top to bottom with what, what I like about them, all those things. So we kind of had like a long sleeve crop top with a red bottom, and then we had this beautiful, beautiful fur coat. And one thing about it, is that texture mix. So we talked about contrasting different textures in my texture and proportions video. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna need you to go watch it right after this. It's okay, it's okay, as long as you watch it after this. Just let me know when you watch it. So, you know, we're, we're still in good standing, okay? Um, For me, it was that leather against the fur that took it up even another knot. Also made it something that was eye-catching. With it having the textures, with it having those bold colors and all these things, this is the energy I would have liked to see from the blue, but it's okay, it's okay. And now we have this more structured tan-like dress. It kind of looks like a mermaid's at the bottom with the buttons, the lapel, the pocket. It's still kind of giving me that work woman chic i don't remember who the designer is for this one if i can find a designer i'm gonna leave it on the screen but for me this is a gown with great movement and what i mean by that although this fabric doesn't look like it's gonna move with the wind or whatever it has great visual movement form though it is structured and all those things when i look at this look naturally my eyes want to start from kelly's head 
go to her shoulders and just keep going till I end up at the very end of the train or hem of her dress. So this is a dress that is very structured and probably doesn't have a lot of movement, but it has visual movement for me because my eyes are going to start from the very top and then at the very bottom. Now, next up, we have this denim number, and I feel like this is denim reimagined, which I'm always going to like. Denim is such a classic fabric that I personally feel like doesn't go out of style, but having a fun or new take on something that we have seen for decades is really what's going to get me. Now, looking at this look, although I like it, and I'm not sure if it's the angle, I feel like something is a little bit, just a little bit off with the fit. Like, when I look at it, I don't know if the sleeves are a little bit too loose on her arms and need to be wider by the wrist or if I wanted that belt to be a little bit higher kind of like when I'm looking at the midsection or the torso it looks like there's a little bit of extra fabric so I feel like it could have been tailored just a little bit more but I do love this fun take on denim and like one of the quirks it looks like it has two different colors one on her and then one on the shoulder I enjoy fun fashion so I really do like this look I feel like the fit could have been a little bit more fine-tuned and maybe take maybe an inch or half an inch off the bottom because it looks a little bit long like what do you guys think about that i just think something about the fit it needs to be tweaked just a little bit but let me know your takes on this look do you like it or do you hate it on our second to last look i have this yellow number i don't even know what kind of animal this is because i want to say leopard i want to say tiger but not quite but regardless of what it is i love this number and i don't even know if this is for me a culprit or not but i'm gonna include it because this yellow this yellow looks so good on her, especially next to this black and yellow pattern. I don't know if they're like sequins or anything on here, but this is a very standout number and I feel like it's done so well and it's very balanced. It's without looking costumey because a black and white yellow could easily go a different route, but the way this is done, it looks so well. Maybe because the lining of the coat is brown, I don't know. You guys, let me know if you're feeling this look. I feel like people who enjoy color will definitely enjoy this look. Let me know your thoughts on this yellow look. And last but not least, we have the off-white cream suit. I am here for, okay, go ahead and take a sip of your water because I'm going to say it, the power shoulder. I love it. I love it. And this suit, I think it has a little bit of fringe at the bottom. Let's see if I can find that picture. It has the fringe at the bottom. We have a sash tied around the middle. And I feel like this sash, it looks like the sash is white and the suit is off-white. That's what I'm getting. And I absolutely love the styling here. Kelly rocks multiple hairstyles. Let's, let's get that straight first and foremost. But the shortcut here... I really love and I saw I kind of want to try I kind of want to try look a, like a little bang and then do like a little flip out curl I want to try that hairstyle next I love that she shows the shorter hair I love even the jewelry the necklace and the earrings are not too much the makeup is on point and we have those pointed toe shoes at the bottom I love everything about this suit everything about this suit is giving me what I need to get I can see myself in a suit like this and I feel like she did this suit so much justice from the crop of her head to the sole of her feet so yeah i had to say my favorite for last all right guys so that's all i have for this video let me know if you enjoyed some of these looks you could see yourself in some of these outfits do you got something similar already in your closet let's let's start there first and for <laughs> and also let me know your thoughts on the movie have you guys watched do you plan on watching or are you just not gonna watch the movie let me know what's good in the comments like for real so that wraps up today's video if you haven't already please consider subscribing liking and i hope you already commented on the video and keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend like telephone so they too can join in on the fun i'll go ahead and leave some videos on the screen for you guys to enjoy but until next time bye guys